Hi students, I am your Gita ma'am. This is plus 3 honors core paper 1, semester 1. Your chapter is Introducing Political Theory. Let's start our class. Your question is Features of Behavioralism. Behavioralism is a reaction against traditional political science. Behavioralism adopts scientific methods in studying political phenomena. According to David Easton, behavioralism has remarkable features such as regularities, verification, techniques, quantification, values, systematization, pure science, and integration. I am going to explain all the points one by one. Your first point is regularities. Regularities stands for the certain uniformities of political behavior which can be expressed in value-like statements, facilitating explanation, explanation and prediction of political phenomena. And your second point is verification. Verification implies acceptance of only that kind of knowledge which can be empirically tested and verified. Your third point is techniques. Techniques emphasizes emphasizes the adoption of appropriate tools of data collection and analysis and your fourth point is quantification quantification stands for the advocacy of rigorous measurement rigorous measurement and data manipulation in political analysis and your fifth point is values values according to the behavior list need to be separated from the facts ethical evaluation is one hand and empirical explanation is another objective scientific inquiry has to be value free and value neutral and your sixth point is systematization according to the behavioralist research in political science must be systematic Theory and research should be together. And your second point is pure science. Another characteristic of behaviorism is pure science. It makes political science a pure science. It believes that study in political science should be verified by evidence and your last point is integration integration aims at mixing political science with other social sciences according to the behaviorist political science should not be separated from other social sciences like sociology economics and history it would not it 
would be wrong to separate political science from other disciplines. Thank you students.